Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Every Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts in law and data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on data limo regarding international call percentage using PostgreSQL and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is medium and this question has been asked in Verizon interviews. Okay, let's jump right in. The question reads, a phone call is considered an international call when the person calling is in a different country than the person receiving the call. What percentage of phone calls are international and round the result to one decimal place? Assume that caller ID in the phone info table refers to both the caller and the receiver. So basically, the first table is called phone calls with three different caller with three different columns: caller ID, receiver ID, and call time. And this is an example of it, right? So caller ID one, receiver ID two, and this was the call time. And then there is another table called phone info with four different columns, caller ID, country ID, network, and their phone number. So basically different callers, which country they belong to, right? And what is the network, their phone number, etc. Right. So basically, uh, you know, uh, if you look at it, right? So here we have, we have four call, four different calls, right? So caller ID one to two, one to five, five to one, five to six, right? And then if you look at it, right? So caller ID, one and two, which country they belong to us. So this is not an international call one and five, uh, one belongs to us five belongs to India. So this is an international call. So one international call up till now five and one again, it is going to be India to us. So international call and five and six, five and six, both belong to India. So out of these four calls, there are two, which are international. So two out of four is 50%. And that is what we have in the output. So basically what we need to do is we can, you know, use this phone info table twice, right? Firstly, we can, you know, say that, okay, from this phone calls table, right? Let's join the caller ID with the caller ID in phone info table and get the, you know, country ID. And that country ID is going to be the country ID of the caller. Then again, join it to the receiver ID column, right? And say that, okay, the country ID that now you are getting is the country related to the receiver, right? So let's start with it from this table called phone calls. Let's alias this as PC, right? Left to join right left to join the phone info table let's alias this as p1 on phone calls dot so phone calls dot caller id is equal to p1 phone info dot caller id column right caller id column and let's return all the you know columns from phone calls and relevant uh, columns only from the phone info table right so uh, let's return everything from phone call so if we can simply write phone calls dot star and the only thing that we are you know concerned about from phone info table is the country id because we need to see whether the call was international or domestic right so we write phone info is basically alias as p1 right so p1 dot country id can be aliased as as caller country right so wherever what what whatever the country was for the caller right uh, and then what we need to do is let's again left to join the phone calls table on phone info table this time aliased as p2 on right on now pc dot receiver id right so for right now we joined this table this tables this column this caller id column with the caller id column of phone info and got this uh, country id and alias this as this is the uh, country call country of the caller right now similarly we need to do this for receiver id right and get the country of the receiver as well right so we write pc dot receiver id is equal to p2 dot caller id right and from this again we need to say that okay p2 dot country id as receiver country okay so let me go ahead and run this let's see what we have right okay so you have caller id receiver id call time so these three columns from the phone calls table right phone calls table and then call country so where, where the country of the caller and then receiver country right so this for example this is an in domestic call this is an international call domestic 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 right similarly we have all this so now once we have this then what we can do is 
we can save this entire thing in a common table expression. So we can write with CTE as and this entire thing goes into parentheses. Now, what all calls we are concerned about? International calls, right? And we need to find out the total international calls and divide by the total number of calls to get the percentage of international calls. So how can we do this? We can do this in the exact same way that we did in the last way, uh, last video, right? Using the case when then statements. So what I'm saying is from this common table expression, right? Let's return now. Whenever your call country is not equal to received country, right? So that is an example of international call. So what we can do is case when call con call country is not equal to received country, then you assign the value one, else you assign the value zero and then sum this entire thing. So all those ones and zeros, when you sum it up at the end, it is going to give you the count of the number of international calls. So that is what we are doing. So select case when call country is not equal to receiver country then you assign one else you assign the value zero and since you started a case and statement you need to end it and then perform a sum right so, so sum this entire thing and again we talked about the integer division problem so you need to you know multiply this by a floating point number so because we are calculating the percentages right we talked about this like if you want you can go to the previous video uh, and see like what integer division and the problem related to that it so you right now you are finding a total number of international calls multiplied by 1.0 to make sure that there is no problem with integer division and then divide by the total number of calls that's how you get the percentage right so this is the fraction that you get multiplied by 100 so you get the percentage and now this should be rounded to one decimal place right so we write round this entire thing to one decimal place and alias this as what is required in the output as international call percentage so international call percent okay I think this looks good. Let me go ahead and run this. Let's see what we are having. So we have 54.5 international call percentage, right? Go, let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases. So yeah, this is accepted and this is how you do it. Again, somewhat difficult, but not very difficult. If you, you know, uh, consider that, okay, you all you need to do is find the country of the caller, country of the receiver, make sure to, uh, you know, how we can use case when statements to count the total number of international calls. Make sure also that you are, you know, not getting prone to the integer division problem. So basically, you know, uh, truncating the decimal part of the division. Uh, and then, you know, multiply it by 100, get the percentages uh, of international call percent. And yeah, so this is how we do it. Let me know if there is a better way or a more efficient way you can think of to solve this question. Let the solution be in the comment section below. And I will see you guys in the next video.